Yes, ma'am. <clears throat> Doctor, you seem to be a bit perplexed. You win, Felix. I'm afraid my vacation hasn't improved my game. Has the lack of competition been boring you? Till now? Yes. But I'm about to add a new dimension to the game. More zest, more excitement, more tension. You mean this new chess table? Designed, engineered, and installed by me. Tell me, Doctor, tell me, how many possible moves are there in a chess game? Beyond calculation, Cody. In the first ten moves, the possibilities are said to run into the octillions. Well, Doctor, I have increased them. How? Mr. Kronick has spotted them. Good, good. Excuse me, Doctor. Excuse me. But only three of them. Well, I rather think the other four will be along soon enough. Guard. Now. Fix on us in case we need you. We're in trouble. Standing by. I have you pinpointed. Good. Keep the channel wide open. Will do. Now into the box you go. You have an appointment with Mr. Cronin. Dr. Leela, look. Little paper. But what does it mean? It means, my dear doctor, they must pass the test of my new dimension. Or they are doomed. Again, Doctor. Crony, what have these little people to do with this new dimension of yours? I don't understand. You will in good time. Move, Doctor. What's the use? 
you're going to win, you always do. Well, perhaps not any longer. Actually, my new dimension may work against even me. Check. What's that humming? All in good time, Doctor. Watch the squares. What happened to it? Chess is a game of war. Weakness is punished with death. A nice touch of realism, huh? But what is much more important, Doctor, are the mathematical unknowns which the trapdoors add. Mr. Koenig, sir? Yes, yes. Put them right here on the chessboard. Right here. Come out, all of you. You have your instructions? Yes, sir. Seven of you were supposed to have arrived on the outside. Precisely six minutes ago. How did you know that? We have observed you each time you have crossed my land on your way into the city. Sometimes two of you, sometimes five, sometimes six or seven. Each bit of information was fed into my computer. Extrapolation told me when next you would all be here in a group. Here's your computer made a mistake. We shall see. Koenig. What are you planning to do? All in good time, Doctor. Ladies and gentlemen. Ah, but you're just a boy. Yes, sir. What did that guard of yours do to us with that gun? Just a temporary magnetic shock. An invention of my own. I am a genius, you see. What do you want with us? All in good time. Meanwhile, make yourself comfortable. And please, please don't try to leave. For you, it's a very long drop to the floor. Koenig, what is the meaning of this? I'm about to tell you. Come along, Doctor. Leather, you have called me the electronic wizard of the decade. And our leading industrialist. But, Cody, what about these little people? You know very well it's illegal to catch them. Well, you agree that despite their diminutive size, they come from a superior civilization. Well, what of it? This. That I, Cody, am superior to the best of them. Cody, as you're done. This is something we should discuss. Hold on, I'm gonna try it again. Valerie. Valerie, if you hear me, answer me. Are you badly hurt? No, Steve, we're all right. The shock wore off. But we don't know where we are. What should we do? Did they have you locked up? No, we're on top of a giant chess table. In a study of some kind. Doctor to patient. It's 
based upon my being completely honest with you. But I am superior to the little people, so why object to my saying what I believe? No, it isn't what you say, Connie. It's how you are saying it, your intensity. Well, surely you recognize that quality. We've been through that before. You mean my enthusiasm? Well, let's call it excitement. <laughs> Nonsense. An anxious preoccupation with the fact, Willie, with your superiority is a danger sign. Oh, doctor. Tony, there is always the possibility of another nervous breakdown. Utter nonsense. You know, next to the table. Maybe it's attached to the wall. I think it's on a center pedestal. Excuse me, Doctor. Queen front four. She's standing in the middle. <laughs> Six will be sufficient for my purposes. You can get him over there. Yeah. Hey, let's let's hide this stuff back there. nice of the rest of you to come. I have you all together. Good. Why were we brought here? Well, I propose to you a test of intelligence. Yours against mine. What's he talking about? Uh, let the woman and the boy go free, then we'll talk. If you pass the test, you may all go free. Just what kind of a test do you have in mind? You're standing on it. Chesky. Ready to prove that although you Earthlings may have the mathematical and engineering intelligence to have reached our planet, still I, Kronik, am superior to you in intellect. Maybe he's gone off the deep end. Why should we play you? What have we got to gain? Well, there is a prize. The freedom we spoke about. If, if you win. And if we lose? Then I'll turn you over to the SID immediately. Fair enough? Just a minute. How about the trap doors? Trap doors? Some kind of a furnace. 
Don't tell me there aren't any trap doors. Drop a cell through one. They have nothing to do with our game. They are merely added hazards in the games between me and my friends. They're still trap doors. Stop right there. Securely locked. Try it. You accept my proposition, then. I will play one game against your best player. What if we refuse to play? Then I will take it as an admission of defeat and turn you over to the SID. Doctor, the table and chairs. What have we got to lose? We'll play. Excellent. Excellent. How'd you come to have this? I have been awaiting your arrival for some time. Come along, Doctor. Let's let the little people choose their own champion. We've got to stop. How? By doing what he says. Choosing one of us to play? But he's probably an expert. Oh, well, Steve's right. A chess game can take hours, even days sometimes. I don't even know how to make the moves. Neither do I. If we switch him to checkers, we give him a run for his money. But chess. Get it. Well, I know chess pretty well. And you're it now. I bet you played it all. Well, I programmed a computer once to play a chess game. Mark, you must be an expert. Programming a computer for chess doesn't make you an expert at chess. Why not? Well, does using an adding machine make you good at addition, Fitzhugh? Steve, you? Well, I've played a little. I even read a book on it once. You might be better at it than I am. I'll tell you, there's one way to find out. You mind? <laughs> you ever play in competition? I just play for fun. Okay. Captain, if you make that move, Mark will probably move his knight to Queen's Bishop 3. So? Well, you'll lose time by retreating your queen. What would you do? Play the pawn to Queen's Bishop 3. You played chess, haven't you? Well, yeah, back home I played in the all-state competition for preteens. That's nice. Why'd you keep on playing? Uh, how'd you do? Well, I won. Please, we'll be back any minute. You won all-state? Yeah. I have a feeling he's a lot better than I am. The question is, is he better than you? He's a child! But Bobby Fischer was only 14 years old when he beat Hrushevsky for the U.S. Championship. Barry, how would a fool's mate be played? Well, let's see. Pawn to king bishop three. Pawn to king four. 
turn to king f knight 4 and queen rook 5 mate. As I said, it's a lot better than I am. Your move is delightful. to move your queen. Why? Because my next move is knight to queen's rook five. The only move left open to you is knight to queen's bishop three. When my knight takes your knight, check and you'll have to resign. You're right. He's better than I am. Suppose I lose, you'll all be turned over to the SID. It'll be my fault. Look, we're the best we've got. We'll take on Crowley. Very look, don't worry. Maybe Koenig's not as good as we think. Take the maybes out of the game. What do you mean? Well, Mark, you said that you programmed a computer to play chess. Right. Well, we got a computer on board. You mean use our computer to help Barry make his move? Why not? Well, I think it's worth a try. Yeah, I think so. Barry, look, we're going to have to string out the game. Perhaps you can call for like an overnight adjournment, as how they do in a regular tournament. That way it'd be a lot easier for us to get Mark out of here in the dark. I'll try. Good. Did they take your radio? No. Okay. Then you can transmit the moves through the radio. Barry, you want to look at the board again and maybe figure out a move? Sure. given me one good reason and a hundred thousand people on this planet are obsessed with chess rook to queen eight check chronic as your doctor i must forbid you to play this game rook takes rook then i dismiss you as my doctor Queen the king seven. Check me. But you may stay as my friend. They ought to be ready by now. Uh, doctor, will you take the little table and chairs off the chessboard there? <laughs> Shall we begin? Any time. Well, now then, as guests, you have your choice. Black or white? White. But I believe that you will find that you are minus a bishop. Arrange your pieces. How will you be able to? 
learned to see to play. Mm, chess, the board is really in your mind. You think you can remember all the moves? Uh, sure. Now then, gentlemen, as to moves, is a half-hour time limit satisfactory? No. We'd like an hour. But surely a half an hour is time enough to plan a move. It's guess we get the option. One hour. Very well, then. And Dr. Leilari will be our timekeeper. You may check of him. Okay, just... Be sure that you call out the moves. Oh, yes, of course. Now, who is to be my opponent? I am, sir. No, 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 no. I mean, whom am I to play? That's right. A boy. You've chosen a child to play against me. Is this your custom to insult your superiors? I demand your strongest player, not your weakest. Look, he is our strongest player. You take me for a fool? Rony, please. I will not play a boy. Rony. Now, look, you said pick our best player, and we did. Those were the rules. Now, either we go by them or forget it. Very well. Since no adult will participate as a player, and all of you will participate as chessmen, we'll start there with the stockman. Tie him to your king. Now wait. What's this got to do with playing chess? Would you prefer being shipped off at once to the SID? Let's do it. You've nothing to lose. As long as the boy plays. All right, the boy plays. You in front will be a knife. Behind him, you a rook. And the lady, next to the stockman, a queen. You the queen's bishop. And you can begin by tying each other up. Now look, if, if we're tied to these pieces, the boy certainly can't move them himself. Well, the good Dr. Layla here will help the boy make his moves. Perhaps. I want no part of this. Oh, come, Doctor. You may even advise the no, boy no, on the Tony. moves. Oh, Doctor. Steve, this changes our plans a little bit, doesn't it? I guess we're going to have to get you out somehow. Larry? I think you can sacrifice Mark and me without losing the game. Well, I think so. I can try. Yeah. How about Dan? Well, it all depends on how the game goes. You mean to help us escape? Right. All right, what I tend to do is I hope that Koenig will put us into the chess boxes on the floor. Here he comes. Yeah. I'll do my best. That's good. Well, I see that they are ready. All right. The white moves first. Now, take your time. I wouldn't want to take unfair advantage of my opponent, especially of a boy. Play the pawn to queen four. Queen's Gambit, one of my favorites. Pawn to Queen Four. Knight to Queen's Bishop Three. He attacks, I defend. Pawn to King Three. Here it goes. Next move, he'll capture you. Queen's Knight takes pawn. Pawn takes 
this night. Hey, take it easy. That boy plays like an idiot. <laughs> Bishop to King too. One must protect one's queen. Bishop takes bishop. Queen takes bishop. schedule. As long as so far isn't too far. You know, if Krona gets too big an advantage on Barry, even that computer won't help us. When do we make our move? I was thinking we'd better move while we can. What about the alarm system? Well, it's not going to ring any louder for three than for one. So when Dan gets here, we go. You make it right for that computer, and I'll get the equipment we stashed outside. All right. To cancel it, to get you out where he can take you. And if he makes the right move. White Council. I must say, you play an unconventional game, boy. Knight to King Bishop Seven. Let's hope the next one's Dan. If you ever notice, boy, you're in danger of losing one of your looks. Classic dilemma. What'd you say, Doctor? Please remember, Connie, it's just a game. The victory is short and swift. I'm going to try to make the best exchange I can. I'm pretty far behind. Right. Rook to King's Knight. Good, but not good enough. A rook for a knight, I can't resist. Well, boy, aren't you going to take my knight? Thank you, sir. King takes knight. Are you sure you want to be recaptured? I'm sure. On purpose. On purpose. What do you say? Set. Go get him. You monitor the grounds in case he tries to get out. If you wait for a cone, it's game to be worth your head.
Can't you see that I'm occupied? Get out of here. Get out. You all move. The boy time, Koenig. He's entitled to it. Time, time. <laughs> Go ahead, but don't be all day about it. Keep stalling, you're doing fine. Hey, what are you doing? Get going. I can save time if Betty does a couple of things for me before I get back. Hello, Betty, come in. Yeah, go ahead, Mark. Listen, I'm on my way back to camp, but I want you to do something for me before I get there. Warm up the computer motivator. Turn it to maximum output and put all gears in neutral. Can you handle that? Yeah, I think so. Good, I'm on my way.
Tough move. I'm trying, sir, but you have me at such a disadvantage. I wonder if I could ask for an adjournment. An adjournment? Certainly not. He can have an adjournment, Connie. It's allowed by the rules. Oh. No, I don't want to adjourn. I'm going to beat him. Crony, please. Either be quiet or leave. It's his move, not mine. Yes, sir, I know it's my move. But I'd like to take my full hour. That was the agreement. One hour. You heard him. Crony, I remember your exhibition game with that Eastern champion. You remember the one you beat in 17 moves. Yes. Your most brilliant yes. planning and execution. Yes, I, yes, I remember. Do you remember at what point he made his fatal mistake? Yes, Doctor. When he made his 12th move. Just after you granted him an adjournment. <laughs> yes. Yes, of course you are right, my dear Doctor. We will adjourn. For six minutes. Thank you, sir. Betty, this is Mark. Come in. Betty, do you read me? Come in. Right, Mark. Here I am. Go ahead. Well, I'm in a little trouble, but I'll be there. Now listen. What happened? I'll explain when I get there. Explain now. What happened? All right, would you believe I'm hung up by my heels in an animal snare? You satisfied? Well, where are you? And I'll come down. Betty, will you please shut up and listen? Everybody needs you right where you are. You understand? All right, Mark, go ahead. I'm sorry. Do you have the computer motivator operating? Yeah. All right, is it turned up to maximum? Not quite. Well, turn it up. Done. All right. On about 30 seconds, you'll hear a hum. Call Barry and tell him what happened. Tell him he has to stall that giant as long as he can. Okay, I will, but I don't understand what... You don't have to understand. Just do it. And if he doesn't answer right away, just wait. He just might not be able to use the radio when you call him. Now get busy. Yes, sir. <laughs> I don't know how I got in trouble, Barry. Just, just do as he asked you. Okay, Betty, I'll do the best I can. What's happening? Mark's in trouble, caught in an animal snare. Betty says I'm to stall Crony in any way I can. My advice, I think you ought to call the game quits. Exactly as I tell you. 
Just to the right of phase one control, there's a mode switch. You got that? Uh, yeah. Turn it halfway to the right. Okay, it seems to be all right. Good. Now keep the hum steady. Don't let it get any higher. All you have to do is use that same control to left or right. You understand? Yeah, but, but what about you? I'll be there shortly. If not, I'll call you. computer can only do so much, there's still options that have to be decided on. I don't even have a program. Mark. Coffee, tea, or milk? Still calming the passengers in. It's okay, Mark, I can talk now. Barry, we left off with a black queen's rook. A black knight. And five is empty, six is empty, seven white pawn, eight is empty. He's coming. He's coming. I gotta go now. Your adjournment is over. Are you ready to play? Ready, sir. Bishop to King's Knight 4, disclosing check. Bishop to King's Knight 4, disclosing check. Disclosing check? I refuse to accept this check to my king. Tony, you've been in check before and you've won those same games. But it's the principle of it, Doctor, to be put in check by a boy. I won't accept it. Boy or man, no, no. you can win against those little people. Crony, Crony. No, 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 I won't possibly compare that mental equipment with yours. Could their brain have produced the most sophisticated cybernetic equipment ever created? Crony, you will win. You will win. If only you will be calm. You're right, Doctor. You're perfectly right. My... My cybernetic genius will win for me. No, 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 Koenig. You mustn't ignore the reality of the game. It must be your own brain against his. Nothing else. I will win, Doctor. I will win. And it will be a very easy matter. Koenig, no! Koenig, please! Is 
the trap doors. Increase the odds. Make the game harder. But what about the little people? Doctor, does it really matter if a few of them go into the furnace? They're not people, real people. Off the squares, Mary, run! <laughs> First thing we do is knock out the trap door circuits. And now, in the absence of the eminent Dr. Layla. We're about to witness a demonstration of chronic superiority. The field in which I, Chloe, am about to win the first interplanetary battle. I request an adjournment, sir. Denied. You've had one. Yes, but I'm too tired. I need a few hours of rest. We can continue the game tomorrow. Tonight, we will play. You said you weren't going to use the trap doors. I don't know where they're located either. Locations change. They're electronically controlled. It could be that one of my pieces drops through. Your chess pieces aren't real people. Why are you so concerned? It's the game that's important. Now, stand at the edge of the table, and I'll make the moves for you. There'll be no danger. But my friends are. I won't play until you close the trap doors tight. Let me call your attention to this screen. This electronic furnace is waiting for you underneath the trap doors. Either I drop your friends through now, or you take your chances and play. You have no choice in the matter. Now, I'm a student of mathematical probabilities, permutations, and combinations. The longer you today, the greater the chance of all of you ending up down there. You are about to see what I mean. Wire. You know, mathematical odds fascinate me. You see, as I say, mathematical odds. Not now. The odds are increased enormously. Play. We'll play. Very move. It's my move, Your Majesty. Young man, I believe you have me in check. It's moving. King to black, queen square. King to black, queen square. Queen to queen seven. Yeah. 
Diabolica. If I win, sir, you will let us go, won't you? Silence, silence. I could have you disqualified for that. I'm trying to think. Okay. You better stay in clear. So bypass the blown out circuits. about to be melted down in the first stop. You got to turn it on. Oh, Cody, you've done enough already. Cody! Thank you. 
Spindrift, come in. Well, my friend. Doctor, you seem to be a bit perplexed. You win, Koenig. I'm afraid my vacation hasn't improved my game. Has the lack of competition been boring you? Till now, yes. But I'm about to add a new dimension to the game. More zest, more excitement, more tension. You mean this new chess table? Designed, engineered, and installed by me. Tell me, Doctor, tell me, how many possible moves are there in a chess game? Beyond calculation, Grody. In the first ten moves, the possibilities are said to run into the octillions. Well, Doctor, I have increased them. How? Mr. Kronick has spotted them. Good, good. Excuse me, Doctor. Only three of them. Well, I rather think the other four will be along soon enough. Guard. Fix on us in case we need you. We're in trouble. Standing by. I have you pinpointed. Good. Keep
keep the channel wide open. Now into the box you go. You have an appointment with Mr. Crum. Dr. Leela, look. Little paper. But what does it mean? It means, my dear doctor, they must pass the test of my new dimension. Or they are doomed. Again, Doctor. Ronnie, what have these little people to do with this new dimension of yours? I don't understand. You will in good time. Move, Doctor. What's the use? You're going to win. You always do. Well, perhaps not any longer. Actually, my new dimension may work against even me. Check. What's that humming? All in good time, Doctor. Watch the squares. Do it. Chess is a game of war. Weakness is punished with death. A nice touch of realism, huh? But what is much more important, Doctor? the mathematical unknowns which the trapdoors add. Mr. Connick, sir? Yes, yes. Put them right here on the chessboard. Right here. Come out, all of you. Do you have your instructions? Yes, sir. Seven of you were supposed to have arrived on the outside. Precisely six minutes ago. How did you know that? We have observed you each time you have crossed my land on your way into the city. Sometimes two of you, sometimes five, sometimes six or seven. Each bit of information was fed into my computer. Extrapolation told me when next you would all be here in a group. Here's your computer made a mistake. We shall see. Cronin. What are you planning to do? All in good time, Doctor. Ladies and gentlemen. Ah, but you're just a boy, are you not? Yes, sir. What did that god of yours do to us with that gun? Just a temporary magnetic shock. An invention of my own. I am a genius, you see. What do you want with us? All in good time. Meanwhile, make yourself comfortable. And please, please don't try to leave. For you, it's a very long drop to the floor. Chronic. What is the meaning of this? I'm about to tell you. Come along, Doctor. Lila, 
thing you have called me the electronic wizard of the decade and our leading industrialist. Of course, you lie about these little people. You know very well it's illegal to catch them. Why do you agree that despite their diminutive size, they come from a superior civilization? Well, what of it? This. Steve, we're all right. The shock wore off. But we don't know where we are. What should we do? Did they have you locked up? No, we're on top of a giant chest tank. In a study of some kind. based upon my being completely honest with you. But I am superior to the little people, so why object to my saying what I believe? No, it isn't what you say, Connie. It's how you are saying it, your intensity. Well, surely you recognize that quality. We've been through that before. You mean my enthusiasm? Well, let's call it excitement. <laughs> Nonsense. <laughs> An anxious preoccupation with the fact with your superiority is a danger sign. Oh, doctor. Tony, there is always the possibility of another nervous breakdown. Utter nonsense. You know, legs to the table. Maybe it's attached to the wall. I think it's on a center pedestal. Excuse me, Doctor. Queen front four. She's standing in the middle. <laughs> Sufficient for my purposes. We'll get him over there. Yeah. Hey, let's let's hide this stuff back there. It's nice. 
grace of the rest of you to come. I have you all together. Good. Why were we brought here? Well, I propose to you a test of intelligence. Yours against mine. What's he talking about? Uh, let the woman and the boy go free, then we'll talk. If you pass the test, you may all go free. Just what kind of a test do you have in mind? You're standing on it. Chesky. Merely to prove that although you Earthlings may have the mathematical and engineering intelligence to have reached our planet, still I, Kronik, am superior to you in intellect. He's gone off the deep end. Why should we play you? What have we got to gain? Well, there is a prize. The freedom we spoke about. If, if you win. And if we lose? Then I'll turn you over to the SID immediately. Fair enough? Just a minute. How about the trap doors? Trap doors? Some kind of a furnace. Don't tell me there aren't any trap doors. I could sail through one. They have nothing to do with our game. They are merely added hazards in the games between me and my friends. They're still trap doors. Look right there. Securely locked. Try it. You accept my proposition, then. I will play one game against your best player. What if we refuse to play? Then I will take it as an admission of defeat and turn you over to the SID. Doctor, the table and chairs. What have we got to lose? We'll play. Excellent. Excellent. Yes. How'd you come to have this? I have been awaiting your arrival for some time. Come along, Doctor. Let's let the little people choose their own champion. We've got to stop him. How? By doing what he says. Do you see what advice to play? But he's probably an expert. Oh, well, Steve's right. A chess game can take hours, even days sometimes. I don't even know how to make the moves. Neither do I. If we switch him to checkers, we'll give him a run for his money. But chess. Get it. Well, I know chess pretty well. And you're it now. I bet you played it all. Well, I programmed a computer once to play a chess game. Mark, you must be an expert. Programming a computer for chess doesn't make you an expert at chess. Why not? Well, does using an adding machine make you good at addition, Fitzhugh? Steve, you? Well, I played a little. I even read a book on it once. You might be better at it than I am. I'll tell you, there's one way to find out. You mind? <laughs> you ever play in competition? I just play for fun. <laughs> 